Hi, hey everybody. It's Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing, and I um, hope everybody's doing well. I got a small order. Yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> got a small order from uh, Tackle Warehouse. I figured I'd just do a quick video here on. Um, uh, let me thank some friends of mine, uh, Maura and Ed, from uh, my old job. I retired, so they sent me a gift certificate from Tackle Warehouse, and I took advantage of it. So I got a few things. Uh, not a lot. Um, but I'll show you what I got here. Um, if you guys watched uh, Joe Thomas's uh, show, I think it's Real in the Outdoors. Um, he's been throwing these, you know, he's got like the signature series rooster tail, which is kind of like a, you know, you know, to me, a beefed up, you know, rooster tail. And he's, he's been using it really on that show, catching some nice smallies. So I figured, let me try some. And so I grabbed a few from, uh, from uh, Tackle Warehouse. They had some back in stock. So I figured, let me try a few. Um, and if you guys have thrown a rooster tail, I mean, rooster tail's been around forever. Um, and I have small ones, like quarter ounces. This is what, this one here is, I think, a three quarters or a half. Yeah, this is a half ounce. But, um, <clears throat> I got four of them. So let me just show you. I'm not going to tear them, take them out of the pack. Because they won't go back in. Um, but you guys have seen rooster tails before. But this is like a beefier rooster tail. And this is the Joe Thomas Signature Series. And I'll show you that, the half ounce ones first. This is a fire tiger color. So, you know, hopefully, you know, in the spring, anytime, I guess, you know, the smallies will really, you know, really crush these. I'll tell you, he's, he's on that show, has, he's really, you know, done some nice work with this on his, uh, his show. So, I figured I'd try him out. So, that's the half ounce version of the Joe Thomas Rooster Tail right there. Let's get a good look at that. Uh, and that, like I said, Fire Tiger color. And this is also, this is a half ounce. And this one is Flash Chartreuse. So I figured these Chartreuse ones should probably be great for the smallies. But there you go. So you can see it's a little beefier than your typical, uh, you know, a little bigger, bigger, uh, definitely a big treble hook, but, you know, definitely a bigger blade than you're used to in your, you know, those eighth ounce ones, the ones you see like at Walmart and stuff. But there's your Chartreuse Flash one. <clears throat> and that's the, this is the Joe Thomas series, you guys can... If you guys can see that good there. Oops. That one hit the floor. Uh, let's see. I think these other ones might be the bigger ones. Three quarter. Yeah, these are three quarter ounce. So I just kind of got the ones that were in stock. And this is the chrome right, chrome white one. And uh, let's see that, that Joe Thomas series. And it's a three quarter ounce. So you could probably fling this thing a mile. And, uh, you know, cover a lot of water. So you can see in the springtime, uh, these would probably be really good. But, you know, I mean, really anytime. You know, spinnerbait's great, in, you know, on a windy day, any time of the year for smallies or for bass, period. So this, you know, on the day when that water's a little choppy. And this is the other three-quarter ounce one. This is just plain white. You can see it. looks like a white, maybe a little gray in there. You guys can see those colors well. But I'll give you a good look at that. But, and you know, I'm not going to take these out of the pack, like I said. Then I'll have to put them in a box. I can just leave them like this for now until <laughs> it comes time to use them. But this spring, I'll definitely be trying those out. And when I rig these up, um, the only problem I ever have with a with a rooster tail is line twist. So usually I use a swivel. So, you know, I'll just put it on my regular spinnerbait rod, and I'll just use a swivel on there to so I don't get all that line twist, because these will definitely twist your line if you, if you don't use one. So... You know, definitely do that when you throw it. I'll probably throw it on my, you know, on my uh, my spinnerbait rod. You know, probably 12, 14 pound uh, fluoro. Uh, you know, when the time comes. Uh, but, but that's the, uh, you know, they're nice looking baits. I look forward to throwing these in the spring. But that's the Joe Thomas series um, rooster tail. Now, I also got, now this is a bait I've shown you guys before. So I figured, let me grab a couple colors that I didn't have. And this is the River to Sea. That uh, tactical DD crank 75, which I really like. It's a nice looking crankbait. Um, I haven't really used it a lot yet. The other ones I have, um, but um, I think you know when that water is cold this spring, I'm going to try this out and really put some time in. I haven't put the time in with this bait yet. Um, you know, I've thrown it a couple times, but you know, I got it late last season, and then last season was kind of a weird year with COVID and with moving and everything. So. You know, fishing wasn't, I didn't get a chance to fish as much. But um, I got a couple other colors. And this is the 
I think they call this ghost minnow. Yeah, this is the ghost minnow color. So if you guys haven't seen these, I have a video where I, where I showed you the other ones I got. But that's the ghost minnow. This is from River to Sea. It's a tactical DD crankbait. You know, the guys from Tactical Bassin came up with this. So, you know, I'll show it to you again. The Tactical DD crankbait, 75. There it is. What did I say that was? Ghost Minnow? I believe that's Ghost Minnow. Yeah. Ghost Minnow. Very nice. Great paint jobs. Green back. Kind of see that line. Blue in the light. A little, well, maybe a little yellow there by the, by the snout. But nice looking crank. Nice looking baits. So now that I've done this video, I can put these in the box of the other ones. But that's one of them. And the other one I got was the, I think it's DD Minnow. Yeah, the DD Minnow. So you kind of like, I can see the reflection of myself on the, on the pack in the, in the screen. So I hope it doesn't look goofy when you guys actually see this. But here's your DD Minnow. I'll take that out for you if I can get this one open. Taking this even out of the box yet. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's your DD now. It's pretty cool. It's like a it's almost like a chrome. I don't know if you I don't know. It just looks that way. I don't know if it really is though. It's got kind of like a brown, brown back. That's a pretty cool looking color right there. That's the DD Minnow. Get too close. You can see so as it moves in the light, it's got some cool colors. You know, so this is a more of a you know it's an all-round year crankbait but you know they you know they say it shines in the cold water we're gonna see and I'm really gonna put the time in with it this year um, I didn't really get a chance to last year to, to really put the time in with it but, but that's it that's all I got um, you know I got enough to get free shipping and to get my sticker that we all got 5,000 of uh, but that's it I just wanted to show you guys that stuff quick um, I do have a small Land Big Fish order coming, and Land Big Fish is actually having another winter sale right now. Um, that they just, I just got the email today. I'm like, I don't really need, <laughs> I don't need to see that you guys are having more sales. You know, it always makes me think of getting a few things, so even when I don't, don't want to. Um, that's kind of it. Um, you know, the weather really is uh, starting to change a little bit, so hopefully the good, you know, the, the, the better weather is here, and, you know, things are starting to thaw out. Um, my driveway went from, like, that thick of, inch ice on the top of it to mud <laughs> in like three days so um you know hopefully spring is getting here i know you know it's still we still got a month probably to go and i you know i'm up in new hampshire now so it'll probably even be longer um but if, you know i always think if i can get on the water by march that would be awesome um the basement's coming along pretty good i don't know if you guys can you guys really can't see much behind me um i did buy that rack and i put a bunch of junk on there um you know i, I went through these you know I'm going to move this. I just hope this doesn't mess it up too much. I'm going to unplug this. I'm not trying to... I, I, I've been going through my boxes. But, um, you know, with moving, you know, everything kind of, kind, of, kind of got thrown around a little. So i just kind of been going through these and organizing stuff and putting some stuff in. And you can see the reels there. But I bought that rack there and filled it up with stuff. And I've been going through some boxes. And, you know, I just... I just put these Gitsit spider jigs that I like in a box. You know, some of the hooks were a little rusty, so I kind of cleaned them up. Here's a couple six cents boxes. A stroke, stroke of craws and some prawns. And uh, I'll just give you guys a quick run. You know, I hope this doesn't look too shaky, but I got the racks set up. Um, six cents stuff over here. You know, some just some scattered things. You know, I kind of showed you guys this, but... I'll just give you a quick look at it. I hope it doesn't look too, like I said, when I hold the, the screen this way, I'm always afraid it's going to look too too shaky for you. But this is Strike King stuff over here. Um, some yum, some man stuff, some tubes, a lot of Strike King. Uh, some various stuff, some Cabin Creek, some Robo Worms. Uh, this is stuff you get from lure parts online. Some yum, some missile baits. 
some Bass Pro stuff, some drop shot baits here, some different drop, types of drop shot baits you guys may have seen, and just some more Venom, and Missile, uh, Mega Bass, Lake Fork, Venom is down there, the Arky, some Beast Coast, some Smash Tech, some Riot Baits, I don't think, I don't think they're around anymore, and some Missile Baits, but hope you guys can see this. Down this end, got all the zoom, you know, trick worms. This is all zoom. Um, all net bait. Net bait finesse worms, great too. Net flukes. You guys know I love throwing fluke. Um, that's their Ned rig, but lots of finesse worms and flukes. So that's all the zoom stuff. Um, I've even started putting some stuff on the back. This is like some of the last things, just some scattered stuff that I had that I hadn't put away yet. Um, you know. Some rain stuff, some hair jigs. This I bought for striper fishing, and then I moved. <laughs> but some different kinds of fluke type baits. Those are good. The Jones Bait Company, I don't even know if they exist anymore. Bass Assassin is around. Some swim baits, spider jigs, some drop shot baits. A little bit of everything. You guys have kind of seen this one over here with all the swim bait stuff. I know I've shown you guys that one before. But that hasn't really changed much. I may change stuff around and kind of just put like all Kitech stuff, even if it's not swim baits, just put it all together. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I just wanted to get it out of boxes. If you guys have seen, kind of seen that. Little Mega Bass stuff there. Beast Coast. We got down here is all the tech bait stuff. You guys know I'm a big fan of tech baits. Old tech baits here, uh, some bounty hunter, some slider stuff, a little more kai tech stuff here, more slider, and then all my Berkeley stuff is down there. I don't think I had that all hung up last time, but there's all the Berkeley stuff right there. And got some reaction innovations, Bunker City, Damiki, Gambler, uh, let's see, the Daiwa stuff. Yamamoto, really. Gajo stuff, some more Beast Coast, more Kitech, some Gary Yamamoto down here, and then just some some grubs, and there's the old, old Gander Mountain, and some zipper worms, things like that. So I kind of got that put together. So I've got everything out of boxes. Um, bought this here. You guys saw on my Instagram all the super pork. But there you go. <laughs> there's all the super pork and luckily when I went back to New Jersey last uh, weekend before and got some more stuff I didn't find any more because <laughs> I don't really have any more room for it but but there you go super pork there stuff is still kind of piled up here this has got scents some uh, Rex to reels and then line everything's kind of just in there now it's not super organized yet, but uh, there's an old tournament right there. <sighs> That's an oldie. What's that? 2009. <laughs> 2009 tournament right there. But uh, you can see I got books and stuff piled up and things are up, but at least I can move around now. At least I can move around. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, the bags down here, some extra boxes I haven't got to yet. This stuff is kind of just scattered up here, like jigs and soft I know I've shown you this one before. Hard baits are here and some scattered stuff. This is still a work in progress, as you can see. Um, let's see what else we got. There's my Z-Man bags, all the Z-Man stuff. Uh, I don't know where, oh, the only other thing is, um, you guys, you can get these on Amazon. Um, and I got, there was already one hanging up here. My buddy Chris told me about, it. it's a good way to hang hang his rods up. So there's already one hanging up there. So I got another one here. And you can just put, I keep my rods, it's great. I keep my rods off the ground. And, uh, you know, they're not in the way. And it's good for them. So I got, an, I got three all together. And I hung up two more over here. And I got all my rods up here. I've got my Fenwicks and my Abu Garcias and my Castaways. My All Stars, my Dangos. Uh, this is just, I think, my Ardent Rods. 
my Ornans and my old Rick Clun rods, my Enigma rods there. But if you guys are looking for an idea on how to hang your rods up, these things work really great. I think they're just, you know, they're regular racks for hanging clothes or coats or whatever it is you want to hang around in your basement. But I may get two more, you know, and then I could spread the rods out more, but I think they're okay like that. And like I said, I kind of was going through these things, you know, and kind of getting everything, you know, after moving and it's sitting in storage, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. So, like I said, I hope this comes out. <laughs> I know the camera's probably moving too fast. This rack is just, I just threw everything on there and I just gotta, you know, straighten it up, but I just threw everything on there. Um, there's my bookshelf there with all the fishing, fishing books there and everything. Can't really see anything with these in the way. There's the fishing library. <laughs> Maps on top and all different books that I've read over the years. But uh, it's getting there, guys. It's getting there. It's getting there. A little bit every day. A little bit every day. But uh, I didn't even know I had an empty one. I, wonder, I was wondering why I was tight for space with these. I have an empty one over there. That one doesn't have the wheel. Wheels were all broken. That's why. But I'll set this back down for a sec. But uh, I don't know how that's going to come out. It may be very blurry and I may be moving around too much. But I figured I'd give you guys just a quick overview of what it looks like down here. So it's getting there. It's getting there. It's coming along nice. Um, got a lot of things done, uh, you know, that we had to do. Um, getting my New, Jer my New Hampshire driver's license next week. But got cars registered, cars inspected, all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that, you know, paperwork you got to do and when you move to another state. So all that stuff is... Pretty much out of the way, except for the driver's license next week, and that'll be, I think, Friday we're going down to get those in town. And that's it. So, uh, I just wanted to show you guys those baits, and I figured I'd give you a quick tour of the of the room and how it's coming here. And uh, that's it. So, I'll keep the updates coming as I get more organized, and eventually, we'll actually be able to go fishing. Hopefully, sooner than later. If I, Like I always say, if I can get on the water in March, I am thrilled. I don't anticipate that, but if we get it, great. Uh, but that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if I showed you any of those baits over there and you, you wanna, want me to you know, talk about them a little more or show them to you, let me know. I'll put it in the comments and I'll, and I'll, and I'll talk about them on a video. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.